again, Mary here from Ireland with our journey back to long breathing for this week at number 113, as far as I remember. Um, okay, before I start, I woke up with a song in my head, uh, Rockabye, Rockabye Baby, Rockabye by Clean Bandit. Now, I don't know, it could be for somebody, but the way I'm taking it at the moment is the baby in the lyric the mother and the baby is you and your inner child okay so have a look at the lyrics and uh, it's about loving yourself first and making sure that you are well looked after first and strong and you're not going to repeat past patterns that didn't bring you to the place that you needed them to bring you. Now, I had a dream as well, which was absolutely chaotic. It was about my daughter's house. They're building a new house, which is going very easily and simply and quietly. So it wasn't actually about the house, but of course, in dreams, house is life. So there were a whole lot of people from my past in it and it was just absolutely chaotic and everybody <sighs> staying on their own path and not listening to anybody else so I woke up with the message keep it simple and the most simplest thing as I keep saying you can do is stay in your own lane people come to you listen to them you need to, to approach people, be open that they are souls and you are soul, a soul and that you're here together in this life to learn and teach each other. So just be open but always come back into your own knowing and express your inner knowing without, without forcing it on the other person. Um, you know, well, I understand what you're saying and I see your point all right and my point is this. So the decision I have to make is coming from looking at the whole picture but my inner gut is telling me this, this and this. No fights, no rows, no aggression, no bumping into each other and having chaos. Just keep it simple. Okay, and keep everything in life simple. We complicate things, like I'm back to labels again. We complicate things by uh, putting labels on them. Somebody shared uh, a post and it was all labels and I was just, I was, my head was spinning reading it because I was trying to put people to these labels, my past learning and well, who was this in in my life and who was this and I just did my head in so I took the overall meaning as love yourself first that's why we're here um, and to teach others to love themselves first and bring more love to earth and that's it and we can't we can't spread love if we don't feel love and you know as I keep saying if we're full up of love, we don't even have to open our mouths. We emanate love to everyone around us. It's all energy. Anyway, we'll see what the cards say. See that they go along that uh, line. Um, I, just, I don't know if I have the uh, sound up properly, but so be it. I'm recording. We're using the Power of Surrender cards by Judith Orloff, MD, for two cards. And then I'm pulling two from my new deck, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. As I said in my midweek reading, I don't know the cards very well, but we'll go with what we get and see. I don't think I'll have to look at the book, but we'll see. I'll do the second one first. This was me yesterday. Oh my God, frustration was running through me, top to bottom. I just had to breathe and I had to take my mind off it and jump around the place and do some housework. And 
just it was frustration to the highest degree because it seemed that things weren't moving. It seemed that nobody was learning anything. It seemed that I wasn't allowed to move forward. It just all oh, was going through me big time. So if you're feeling this, surrender it. Find your way of letting it go, surrendering it, um, bringing bringing yourself back into yourself and finding that inner peace as well. If you have to put on some soft music, I did that yesterday too, and just listened to the music. I didn't even try to meditate or go anywhere. I just listened to the music and the music can calm as well. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. So do what you have to do to let that frustration run through you because making decisions when you're frustrated, well you can, but you don't have to act on them. Write them down and then when you are calm, look back on them and see do they still resonate and do you want to take action on them. Sometimes frustration, like it's not a bad thing, but it does push us to see in a different way as well. And I did, I did... Um, see some things I had to do and I did take action on some of them um, yesterday and uh, I still fine I'm glad I took the action so do what you have to do to release the frustration breathe go out in nature all that simple stuff do all those and write down whatever is coming up for you write down decisions that you think you want to act on and then when the frustration has worked its right way through have a look back and see do you still think you should take these actions surrender attachment to results and that does our head in as well uh, you want such a thing to happen and the result is this and it's not going the way you think it's going to go. Um, and then you can't see the results coming the way you want them because you're gone off in that direction that you didn't want to go or didn't mean to go. And you cannot see how that path will lead you to the result you want. So just forget about the whens and the hows of the, the um, path. Now, surrender attachment to results. Like, you know, if you want a new job, fine, I want a new job. And leave it to the universe to show you how to get that new job or to send the people to you that you need to bring you forward more fully into that job. Now, the result is I want a job. So, like, you can't really let go of that now, I suppose if you want a job and you're not meant to have a job and you're meant to be a free spirit and you want to have a job and you're not getting one, that can cause the frustration too. So maybe bring it more general and say, um, whatever is for me, bring it to me, please. I will do, I will take the steps I need to take for towards whatever is for me. And you'll feel your nudges as you go along. You'll feel your strong guidance as to what's next for you and it might it will be different to what you thought it was going to be okay we'll read it anyway the formula for success is to do all that you can to make things happen then let go of the results holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it okay and it can bring frustration as well um good this job isn't coming what do i have to do next what do i have to do Will I look up this paper? Will I go on this website? Just come to a stage when, look, I've done all I can do. I've just got to let it go, surrender it, and leave it to the universe now. And then doors will start opening. Then bring your mind to something different that brings you joy and peace and happiness. And do that. And your vibration then is in alignment as Abraham Hicks says and then everything you need will come to you okay so this can lead to frustration so you've got your guidance on both of those and how to manage them okay 
So a little bit of a frustrating week. So it must have started for me yesterday. And uh, I'm through it now, thank God. But that dream, my God, chaos, chaos. I, I certainly don't want any more chaos in my life. So I will bring myself to my place of inner peace if I'm feeling chaotic. And as I say, yesterday was just the music and peace and quiet and listening to that music. But it can be walking in nature, it can be going to the sea, it can be... You know where your place of peace is. Okay, we're going for number three here, card number three. Okay. Now we're going back to what I said at the beginning about how to talk to people about how you see things and how they see things and then coming to your decision on what, how you will work it. So seek the truth. So seeking the truth is your own truth first of all. What is my truth in this situation? What do I want in this situation? Where do I want to walk forward to in this situation? What is my truth? Now, the truth six months ago was your truth then. Truth does change um, because our paths change and we come to forks in the road and we have to make a decision which road we'll go down. Like six months ago, you might have wanted to be in a job a science job we'll say and six months later you've learned a lot more and your heart has opened more fully and you feel more gentle and compassionate and you want to go into energy healing so it's what's your truth now and that will bring you to your next right step and there's only one step at a time so what is your truth now now you may meet people that you have to speak your truth to this week too so if you feel the urge to contact somebody to speak your truth or probably that will not be the way. Now it can be, somebody has to make a move at some stage. You know, you can't sit and wait for people to come to you all the time. But we get the nudge to um, move forward and contact people and speak your truth. What is your truth? I'm waiting long enough for this now. Have I a step to take? I'm sitting waiting for the universe's next step. The next step is this nudge that I'm getting, this strong urge that I'm getting from a heart space, from calm, peace, inner space, that now I have to speak my truth. So what is your truth? Listen to other people's truth and come to mutual decisions or step back, or go a different path, or whatever. So the truth will set you free. What is your truth? And that will lead you to your next step, as I say, one step at a time. And this will also lead you to your dreams coming true. This is number seven. You're on the right path, angel number seven. Dreams coming true. Well, that is good. Look, you've got the world in your hands let surrender to the universe, but also be open to receiving and taking your actions when the time comes, finding your own truth, speaking it to others, living your truth as well. We'll be challenged on that as well. What is your truth? Are you living it fully? Are you walking your talk? Are you talking your walk? The truth. That's the biggest part of this message. Your truth. The truth. The bigger world truth. There's nothing but love. Love is the truth. Okay. So feel that love. Emanate love. Let everything else flow to you. The, the frustration. The attachment to results. Your dreams will come true in ways that you didn't see unfolding. So just breathe have a good week. Sit with your truth. If you're challenged, well and good. Don't work from a place of frustration. Find your peace and then make your move. So love and light to you and we'll talk to you. I'm here for readings as usual, of course, personal readings. I've added a new page to my website for check-in readings. 
just a short, maybe six card reading, where we put six of those cards together and uh, mull over where you're at and what your guidance is telling you your next step is, or confirming that you've made the right decisions up to now. That's just $10, 10 euro for a check-in reading. I've added that to my um, my website. I've also put a note on my Facebook page for all the services that I offer and all the links to those services. And I'm gonna put it on my website as well. So those of you who are following my blog by email will receive that as well through Google. So that's it, love and light. Have a great, great week and we'll talk to you midweek for the relationship reading.